For more than three quarters of a century, the UN has brought together nations from across the globe to try to find solutions to the greatest problems facing mankind. For the 76th session, the General Assembly has adopted the theme of building resilience through hope to recover from COVID-19, rebuild sustainability, respond to the needs of the planet, respect the rights of people and revitalize the United Nations. The Secretary General set out what he believes are the most pressing issues. The COVID-19 pandemic has taken more than 4 million lives, is still killing nearly 10,000 people every day, and is circling the globe while well, a handful of rich countries stockpile vaccines. Climate breakdown and nuclear war pose extreme risks to human life and to our planet, and it is difficult to conceive a more destabilizing invention than autonomous lethal weapons. The high-level general debate featuring political leaders from around the world will begin on September 21st. And while a focus on COVID-19 and climate change is likely to dominate, recent events in Afghanistan will also attract scrutiny, particularly as Joe Biden is set to make his first speech to the UN as President of the United States. Clearly, there will be references to Afghanistan, and I think we'll hear Western leaders in particular talk about the importance of human rights and, above all, women's rights in Afghanistan. But I don't think that leaders are going to be criticizing US policy. Most people will want to avoid this dominating the agenda here because they'd rather be focusing on more positive issues like cooperation on climate. This year, who gets to speak will attract as much attention as what people say, with questions remaining over who will be granted credentials to represent Afghanistan and Myanmar during the debate. A number of side events are also due to take place, including New York City Climate Week, a food systems summit and a high-level dialogue on energy. But the threat of COVID-19 means these events will be mostly virtual. While pre-pandemic General Assemblies attracted thousands of delegates, this year just 83 heads of state are expected to head to New York in person for the high-level debate. The US has encouraged member states to send pre-recorded video messages instead to stop the gathering from becoming a super-spreader event. The speeches that happen in the General Assembly Hall occasionally make good TV, but that's actually not where the real work of the UN General Assembly happens. It, it happens in the hallways, it happens in the bilateral meetings, it happens in the corridors and whisp whispered conversations and none of that is going to happen this year as it didn't happen last year and I think something is, is definitely lost in all of that. Just like last year's General Assembly, this will be a much smaller event. The Secretary General says nothing can replace face-to-face -face diplomacy but that a mostly virtual gathering is now the best option available to global leaders to effectively discuss the dramatic challenges facing the world. Sarah Walton, CGTN, New York.